Good morning, dear students. This is Mr. Nandi Tizi, Assistant Professor in Chemistry at St. Giovanni College, Sapodi. Since a long time, we have disconnected, but now it is time to reconnect with or rejoin with you. Since the last one month, the online lectures were stopped due to university examinations of BSCTY and from last few days, the lectures have been going on. So, Today we will continue the last talk topic that is periodic table and periodic properties. In last lecture we had seen various theories proposed by different uh, various scientists to make the periodic tables. Then we had seen the various laws that is uh, Mendeleev's law, mo sorry, modern periodic law and then Henry's law also, which were the basis of the modern periodic table. Then also we had seen the modern periodic table, the cause of periodicity, then the division of the elements into various blocks, groups and periods. As you know, the cause of periodicity is the electronic configuration of the elements or valence electronic configuration of the elements and that electronic configuration causes difference in the properties of the elements. So in this lecture we will see the periodic properties and then some of the applications or factors of the that are responsible for the variation of periodic properties. Now see the periodic properties are directly related to the electronic configuration and there is a regular change in the periodic properties from group to group and the, from period to period in the periodic table. And this is because of electronic configuration. The sum of the important periodic properties of the elements are atomic size, then ionic potential, or we will say it as ionization potential, then electron affinity, electron utility, density. All these are the periodic properties of the elements. Some of them can be studied in this lecture. So the first is atomic radius. The first one is atomic radius. Then what is meant by atomic radius? Firstly, we have to see what is meant by an atom. Atom is the smallest indivisible particle of matter. Now you know the atom as a broad description atom is a circular in nature so that consider a circle as atom and then draw a line from the center of the circle to one end now this is your radius of the circle now consider this radius this circle as atom and the radius as atomic radius. So we can define the atomic radius as the distance from the center of the nucleus to the outermost shell of the atom is known as atomic radius. The definition is the distance from the center of the center of an atom to the outermost shell of the atom is known as atomic radius. 
now see in this case the center of the circle or the atom is nucleus which is positive charge from this nucleus to outermost shell from this nucleus to outermost shell the distance is known as atomic radius it means from center to or the nucleus to the outermost shell which contains electron that distance is known as atomic radius so as you know this atomic radius cannot be measured directly so that this atomic radius is just relative this is a, uh, the values of the atomic radius are just relative values so actual values of the atomic radius cannot be calculated so these values or relative values can be calculated by using the formula that is r is equal to half of a b where a and b are the two atoms atoms present in a molecule so after this atomic radius the next term is ionic radius or ionic size so we can say any of these two because ionic size is the double of the atomic radius ionic radius so when an electron is removed from the atom then it gives either cation or anion then it gives either cation or anion so when an atom is subjected to remove an electron then it forms cation and when it is subjected to add an electron then it forms anion so when an electron is removed from the atom at that time there is decrease in the atomic radius uh, ionic radius or decrease in the size of the ion and when an electron is added to the atom at that time the anion formed has larger size so that the ionic radius is higher or larger so the distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell of an ion is known as ionic radius if it is a cation then that is cationic radius if it is an anion then that is a anionic radius as you know <coughs> the atom has the radius in between the cations and anions the order of radius which have same number of electrons between the cations anions and uh, neutral molecules or atom atoms is as anion has larger size then the atom has larger size than the cation it means cation has the smallest size while the anion has the high uh, larger size in the comparison of the these three anions cations and atoms so consider an example magnesium is that atom the magnesium in its also outermost shell consists of two electrons in atomic state and when we measured the distance from the nucleus of the magnesium atom to the outermost shell that is atomic radius of magnesium but when we ejected or removed the outermost two electrons from the magnesium then it forms mg plus 2 cation as the two electrons are being removed from 
the outermost shell of the magnesium the size of the magnesium in its catanic form decreases so that the catanic magnesium has the smaller size similarly if you took an example of chlorine when an electron is added to the chlorine atom then it forms chloride ion now the size of the chloride ion is greater than that of chlorine atom this is because an extra e extra electron is added to the shell so that there is inter electronic repulsion and the atomic size increases but in case of conversion of magnesium to mg plus 2 that is magnesium cation magnesium plus 2 the nuclear charge was increasing so that there was decrease in the size but in case of chlorine the atomic size is now increasing so rewind that or keep in mind that the order of atomic or the sizes of the various cations anions and atoms having same number of electrons is as the anions have larger size than neutral atoms and the neutral atoms have larger size than cationic ions so the next is covalent radius now what is in by covalent radius the half of the distance between the nuclei of two covalently bonded bonded atoms of the same element in a molecule is known as covalent radius now see consider a homonuclear or homoatomic molecule such as ch2 cl2 and when they are existing in the nature at that time they exist in molecular form and as you know that the bond between h2 cl2 is covalent so that the distance between the two half of the distance between the two atoms that is h2 or uh, cl2 as the of any of these two half of the distance between the two is known as covalent radius see this covalent radius can be calculated by using the formula here is the formula for a single bond for homoatomic molecules dAa minus uh, A is equal to Ra plus Ra or 2 Ra it means the distance between the two atoms that is same atoms is the half of the distance between sorry is the twice the radius of the two atoms twice the radius of the two atoms and in case of heteroatomic molecules the electronegativity is approximately same but there is slightly change slight change so that the formula is d a minus b is equal to r a plus r b this is the formula to determine the covalent radius of an atom then the next is van der waals radius van der waals radius now see Van der Waals radius is nothing but one half of the distance between the two nuclei of two non-bonded isolated atoms or two adjacent atoms belonging to two neighboring molecules of an element in the solid state. Now see what is meant by Van der Waals radius? It is the distance between the two atoms which are in neighbor. This type of radius is to be found in or can be calculated in the molecules which have weaker forces or which are uh, bonded together by weaker forces such as van der Waals forces and so that the it is the half of the distance between the two nuclei of the two atoms it is the half of the distance between the nuclei of the two atoms which are non-bonded or uh, the two atoms 
which are in close proximity with each other of separate molecules so out of these all the radius uh, radia van der waals radia is always large, larger than its coherent radius or atomic ionic radius any radius van der waals radius is larger because the two atoms belong to different molecules so that there is a large difference in between the two atoms or the large distance in between the two atoms okay so in next lecture we will see the variation of atomic radia in the period and further points can be seen up to that thank you